Hi, welcome to the Chelsea T. Purnell Show, and I'm your host, Pastor Chelsea T. Purnell. We are so excited to be here at the KAZ family. We are excited. This is our first show, and we will be on air on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this show, I want you to call your family, your friends, and tell them that we're on at KAZ. Um, also, this is a show that we're going to celebrate, motivate, and decorate. We're going to celebrate family, friends, faith. We're going to decorate. We're going to transform your spaces into spectacular places. We're going to motivate you to take your dreams out of your mind and make them into a reality. And we're also going to, you know, do a little passion for fashion where looking good is on purpose. So I'm really excited to be here and I am just thankful to the Lord that he has allowed me this opportunity to share some of the things that he has placed on my heart to just motivate you to just get out there and make it happen. Um, today we're going to talk about authentic living. Sometimes in life we are so busy with the hustle and bustle of things and we really forget about uh, having a quality life. And when we look at authentic living, um, it really puts me in a mind of uh, maybe a purse. If you buy a purse and it's an authentic purse and then somebody else may have a knockoff or they may have a counterfeit. But when you begin to look at authentic, it is, uh, let's see my definition here. It is not copied. It is genuine. It is, you have evidence to support what you have and also it is an accurate representation of what you have It's trustworthy it's reliable so what I want to do is just really inspire you and motivate you and, and get you ready to live your best life by living an authentic life and so when we begin to look at authentic living I'm um, going back to that purse if you purchase a purse and usually the cost will sometimes not only the cost, but the paper with the cost when you purchase the purse, they'll give you papers to show that it's an authentic purse. And what we want to learn is how can I live an authentic life? What is the best quality of life that I can live? And we know that, you know, you pay for what you get, you pay for a purse, it's quality. So I want to share with you today that somebody paid his life for you. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he paid a cost for you to live an authentic life, a genuine life of quality. So we're going to talk about this authentic life. How can you live your best authentic life in Christ? And one of the things that when we begin to look at a purse, I keep going back to this purse, but it's really people buy knockoffs, they buy counterfeits. But what separates the, the boys from the men and the women from the girls is the quality of that purse, the quality leather, the stitching, the zipper. So when you look at the quality of that purse, if you see a counterfeit or a knockoff, then you kind of notice the difference if you pay attention to the details of life. So you look at the purse, you see, you know, the zipper, it says YKK and not RKK, or you look at the quality of the leather, leather that it ages with time. And that's kind of like what we, we want to compare it to with our life. If we're going to live this authentic life, what we want to do is we want to start to inspect the different aspects of our life to make sure that it's quality li living that, you know, you have to evaluate your life to determine, you know, if, Jesus Christ has died for you and, and you received him as your personal savior. There's no need or we should not live beneath the, the life that he provided for us by giving up his own life. And, and the Holy Spirit is here to teach us how to live in an authentic life. So let's keep going back and forth with the purse. All right. So with the purse, um, you get papers. You get papers that say, you know, this is a coach bag. This is a original design bag. If you have any problems, you can take it back to the manufacturer. You can take it to any location. And that's really what we have to realize. If we're going to live an authentic life, 
then we have an original, we have the original, the manufacturer, the maker of our life, which is God, our creator, that we are able to go back to him and find out how can I live this authentic life? Because what you have to realize is the best life that you live is determined by the choices that you make. I mean, you get to decide today that I can change my life by making a better decision about my life. I can change my life by evaluating the people in my life. You want to make sure, you know, I usually say there's two types of people. Either they're contributing or they're contaminating. And what you have to do is make a decision today is the best day to make that decision to see, you know, I want people that are purpose, people of purpose, people that are going somewhere, people that's going in the same direction. Um, you know, sometimes when you buy that purse, if a, another person who often purchases that particular brand or that particular designer, they can look at it and tell, you know, if that's the real deal, if it's a counterfeit or if it's authentic. There are some purses, you know, they look like they are the real deal, but when you start inspecting the quality, they're not the real deal. And so that's sometimes what we have to do with our life. We have to start inspecting our life and, and, and people know, we say that we love Christ, we say that we have him in our life, we say that we believe in the Holy Spirit, but sometimes we're living beneath, you know, what has been provided for us. We are, we're underneath um, where he has designed for us to be. He wants us to be the best that we can be, and we can be all things through him and in him. So when, when another person they begin to look at the, the, the quality living. And that's something I want you to realize is that you, once you start making those quality decisions concerning your life, then you'll have quality results in your life. It's not so much about quantity, you know, so much. I need so much, but it's really about quality. The best that I can have with what I have. And, and, and if you have a quality life, you may say, Pastor, well, I'm doing good. I'm fine. There's always quality improvement. There's always measures to improve where you are and what you have and what you can be. But the thing is, you want to get to a place where you can be the best that you can be and, and, and so that you can change lives. That, you know, we're not just here just to be here, but we're here to make a difference in other people's lives. So let's get back to this purse. So you get a knockoff, all right? So you, you're out with your bag and you have it on your arm. It looks good, you know. The C's are about this close together and, you know, you, it looks like it's a coach bag. It looks like it's a designer. But, you know, after a couple of encounters with maybe rain or you knock the bag around or, you know, the zipper is not moving like it should, you know, then what happens? You know, you start seeing that this is really not what I paid for or what I thought I paid for. It's an imitation. It's, it's, it's not authentic. They told me that it was authentic. They produced some papers to say that it was authentic. But the quality of the product, it proved itself. And so the thing that we have to realize when it's authentic, the manufacturer stands behind what it makes. But the knockoff version, they just give you the papers and leave. You never hear from them. You don't know how to contact anybody because it's not real. It's, 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 it's a counterfeit. And sometimes with our life, we, we have somebody to call. We have somebody to talk to when we're, we're going through um, different transitions in our lives. There's a person that we can go to to, to get us back where we need to be. It's just like that purse. The manufacturer stands behind the product. If the product, you know, happens to run into the wear and tears of life, they will stand behind it and fix it, make it better, send it back to you. And that is what I want you to understand with the love of Christ and the power of the Holy Ghost. All, that, all you have to do is get back to your maker. All you have to do is, is, is go back to him and, and let him know, I've been through the hustle and bustle of life. I've, I've had some bumps and bruises. And, and what will he say? He'll, he'll have his arms open, wide stretch, ready to do it again. He's ready to make you over. He's ready to, to, to make those rough places smooth. But all you have to do is realize that he wants you to live the best life. 
and I want you to live the best life. And so what my job is, my objective for this show is not just to be another show, but to be a show that will motivate you to really evaluate your living. Quality living is important and we have to, you know, make sure that we have people who are, are, are not just people without a purpose. They're just in our lives talking, just taking up space, really negativity, just no really contributions to your purpose. And so what I want you to do is start really evaluating the life that you're living right now. You have to make some quality decisions about what time it is. And it's time to live an authentic life. You have a purpose on this earth. And I know we've read many books. We've heard purpose driven life. We've heard all of these things. But at some point, something has to go off in you to say, you know what? I need to make some changes in my life. I need to make some choices in my life. And, and it is now time to make it happen. I know right here in the city of Euclid, the seasons are changing right now. You know, we still have a little snow, but there is a sense in the air that spring is coming. We have evidence, <clears throat> excuse me, that the seasons are changing. We have evidence. We get a little rain. We get the birds chirping, the grass, the grounds are warm, but we still get a little snow. But that doesn't matter. We still sense that this season is almost over. And so that goes back to that authentic living. We may be, you may be in a place right now, and, and it may not be a good place, but I'm here to tell you that I sense that your life is about to change. I sense that, that, that the Holy Spirit is about to move and do some things, but he doesn't want to move without you. He wants you to be in sync with him. He wants to move you into a better place. He wants to move you into an authentic place. So I want to thank you for this opportunity to share just these tidbits. This is just the beginning of, of authentic living. I ask that you would please feel free to contact me, contact my office. Um, we have services held at Euclid Square Mall, suite number 444. We're located in Euclid, Ohio. My office number is 216-481-5674. You can find me on Sunday mornings at 1015 at Kingdom Keepers Church, where we are striving to live the kingdom life. I'm praying for you. I love you. And remember that the best life that you can live is an authentic life. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.